The other part of it is going to sound like a two note chord. This is what I mean. I'll put you in front, front of my mind. Did you hear it sounds? Okay, let me play the song. I'll put you in front, in front of my mind. You are all that matters. Okay, so, so what I did there was I'll put you in front fourth progression front of my so I hit here okay 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 what up what up what up good morning good afternoon Good evening, wherever you may be, all over the world. I am response based, and that's because I respond to music with my bass. Okay, in today's class, I'm going to be teaching you what I think um, no one has ever taken their time to teach anybody. Nobody's interested in teaching you how to do it, but I am here for you. I'm going to teach you this particular skill, and this is it. Okay, now this is called open strings. What I just did now is playing the open strings, and you can use it in your worship and in your praise. Okay, before I go fully into this class, if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. And if you're an existing subscriber, thank you for coming back. Don't forget to put on the notification bell. You're going to be notified anytime I drop a tutorial like this. Okay, let's go fully into the class now. But what I need you to do for me now is just to sit back, relax, grab your base, and let us learn how to apply these open strings to your worship and extensively or by extension to your praise as well. Okay, welcome back. Okay, now, this is it. This open strings adds, playing this, there's a way it adds beauty to your playing. And I wish, uh, I feel I should teach it. Okay. But that's one of the benefits of subscribing to my channel anyways okay in the intro i use the song uh, all that matters by minister guc i'm going to play it again and the song was done on the key of e okay So, the first thing you must learn to do is to identify your progressions, your chord progression. The song was done on the key of E, and the chord uh, progression is Fa, the fourth, Do, the, uh, the root one, and So, the fifth, and the sixth, La. Now, the alphabetic um, notations. In that key is you have your E, you have your F sharp, we have your G sharp, we have your A, we have your B, you have your C sharp, you have your E flat, and you have your E. Okay. Okay, that is it. So the next step 
is to identify your chord progressions on the open string. This is five strings. This is B, E, A, D, G. B, E, A, D, G. On four strings, it is E, A, D, G. Okay? On six strings, it's going to be B, E, A, D, G, C. On six strings. Okay, so what we need here... So, uh, the next step is to identify the chord progressions on the open string. So, for this particular song, the chord progression is Fa, is um, Do, Fa, So, La, Do, Fa, So, La, okay? So, the Do is E. Fortunately for us, this is also E. So, so if you play the he, the E here, then you slow. You play the E as well, okay? Before I go fully into the slurring and all of that. So the second um, chord progression that we can also identify on the open string is this string here, the A string. That carries the fourth progression so which is fa, fa, the A I hope you got that okay so then the fifth chord progression which is so So we have been able to identify three chord progressions in that song that we can play on the open string. So after identifying the progression, you must identify the progression of the song. Step two, you must know how to identify the chord progressions also on the open string. So after knowing these things, then you can now begin to apply what you're about to learn now. So, so further, you must learn to slow. Slurring. Okay, so, so it's slurring, then playing the open string. You either slow on the string you are about to play or you slow on the string below sorry you slide on the string below you slide on the string below and you, you slide on the string below and strike the string above let me repeat myself you slide the string below you strike the string you slide sorry you slide you, you slide you slide the string below then you strike the string the open string above okay i hope i've emphasized that enough so the song is i'll put you in front far the fourth progression Progression one. Progression five. La. Progression six. Four. One. Progression five. You are all the man. Okay, so let's apply the slurring now. Remember, this is. That's string E, string A, then B. So I'll put you in front, front of my melody. Did you get that? I'll put you in front, front of my melody. 
Okay, so after establishing this now, we will now go into the three ways. Now, at this point, now you can't afford to skip this video. You have to watch till the end of it so that you can get a uh, full grasp of what I'm teaching. Now, I'm going to teach three ways on how to do this slurring open strength in your worship and extensively your praise. Okay, so um, I was using the word uh, slurring um, and slide interchangeably. So it can either be slide or slur. Okay, so that's settled. Um, the three ways you can apply this that will make you sound outstanding. Uh, that will make you sound lovely, sweet. Okay. So this is one. I'll put you this. in front. In front of my You are all. Okay. So let me explain that. I'll put you in front. Front of my melody. So I'll put you in front. So what happens uh, if you don't slide out of the sound? I'll put you in front. Front of my melody. You are all the matter. You are all the matter. I'll put you in front, front of my melody. I think you like that one. Front of my melody. So this one is you are on this one, this chord progression. This is your A. So this is you playing A on the E string. So if you're sliding or slurring, you play the same string. I'll put you in front, front of, you're about to slide now, melody. So that settles it. That settles it. I'll put you in front of my melody. So what about you play here? I'll put you in front. Sorry. Uh, I'll put you in front. Front of my melody. Okay, so um, let's move to the next one now. The second way or the second uh, pattern, whatever I want to call it, the second variation on how to play this. Okay, so this is the second one now. So I'll play the song. Um, Play the sliding and open string upon it, then break it down. I'll put you in front, in front of my melody. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. So, okay, so this is it. The difference between this one, this second way. And the first one is this. I'll put you in front, front of my melody. Front of my melody. Okay, so this is it. What I did here was I played the first progression. Then I hit the do here before slurring or sliding to also play the open string key here so so you hit this slide so e e do 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 so i'll put you in front front of my melody so it's gonna be a quick one front front of my melody 
So that's the second way. So the first one was I'll put you in front front of my melody. The second one is I'll put you in front front of my melody. Okay. You are all the matter. Okay. So that is it. So let's move to the third one now, which is going to be like twin one. I don't want to get it complicated, but the third one is also nice. Okay, so this is the third one now. Uh, I'll play the song now. Play the slide and open string upon it and break it down. I'll put you in front, in front of my mind. Okay, so what I did there was, I'll put you in front, front of my man. Okay, let me do that again, sorry. I'll put you in front, front of my Okay, so what I simply did was, I played, the, the, after playing the four progression, for I'll put you in front front of my man okay so it's as simple as this I'll put you in front far front I hit the do slide to the do here and the open string do so it's like three do's now three e's the first E here, the second E here, so so sometimes you have to be very fast. Okay, the E is on the seventh fret which is a third coin so if you are able to like the the e here is also the e here so the coin is able to help you identify other places you have your keys or your notes so um so as as you're about playing this e your eyes should be looking at this place because your hand is about approaching. I'll put you in front, front of my. I hope you got that. Okay. I'll put you in front, front of my. So I told you it's two in one. This is second one in, in on the third way. I'll put you in front, front of my man. I said the third one is like two in one. The other part of it is just like the first part of it. But the difference is just that the other part of it is going to sound like a two note chord. This is what I mean. I'll put you in front, front of my man. Did you hear it sounds? Okay, let me play the song. I'll put you in front, in front of my You are all that matters. Okay, so, so what I did there was I'll put you in front, the fourth progression, 
front of my so I hit here I hit the E then slide to the third of the root then play the open string E so so it sounds like a two note chord I'll put you in front front of my so I'm sure you, you like the way it sounded I'll put you in front front of my you old man okay so okay so I think that's it if I was too fast, you can always rewind, pause, and play back again. Just make sure you get it. All this is just to spice up your bass playing and make you move quickly from beginner to intermediate to advanced and just enjoy yourself. Okay. Okay, so we've come to the end of today's class on, on how to apply your open strings and sliding at the same time in your worship and extensively your praise you can also do these things in your praise it's just a matter of speed uh, let me play the worship song you are all the man. i'll put you in front in front of my you are all so I hope you are able to learn one or two things okay so we've come to the end of this class on how to use this skill to improve your bass playing okay so um, if you are new to my channel please subscribe and uh, put on the notification bell as well so that you can be notified anytime I drop a video like this one and if you are um, an existing subscriber thank you for coming back again I have more and more and more coming for you on how to be a better bass player. So that is it. And if you want to become a better bass player, practice, practice, practice. Thank you.